Good afternoon, it's Lindy Tate from Taterbuggin. Y'all come on in and let's do some painting today. Uh, if you're watching on replay, please comment hashtag replay so I know you were here. And if you're new, let us know so we can welcome you. Um, I'm just gonna show you a simple way to do a background on your painting uh, for the for any time of year, really. And I'll tell you the story. There come my friends. There's Jody and Kathy. Opa's here. Bless her sweetheart. Hey, Patty. Betty's here. Oh, I'm so happy y'all are here. Oh, Tarita, thank you so much. I've got my little, it's just a little summer house dress. I don't wear this out of the house, y'all. <laughs> hey, Becky and Judy. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, Marsha, Debbie, uh, Cindy's here. So this time last year, I was swamped with uh, custom orders. It, not just last year, it's been the past three years. And y'all may know that I've taken a year off from custom orders for the most part uh, because the stress level was intense, especially at Christmas. Uh, but it was this time last year that I decided um, when I was so intensely working on your custom orders and painting really tight, detailed work like the pet portraits, uh, I needed I needed something to loosen it up. I needed something to paint um, for my inventory, like in my booth, in the stores that I sell at, um, that was loose and free, and you know, so I could get that out too instead of just being constantly bogged down in that. So. Hey, Kat. Hello, Deborah. Betty's tossed the taters. Yeah, if y'all know any, uh, if y'all have any friends who you think might like what we do here, please let them know. Please tell them about us. And Debbie's got her meatloaf in the oven and it's smelling good. I'm so glad. Yeah, we're still eating off that dinner Friday night and it's wonderful. Oh yeah, if anybody's new, let us know. Hey, Susan. Oh, thank you. Hey, Gail. You're the first, first time Gail's watching us from Missouri. Welcome, Gail. I'm so happy you're here. Hope you'll enjoy it enough to maybe give us a follow. Uh, I pulled out. Thank you, Rita. Y'all, I'm telling you. Hey, Amber and Maria. Um, if you saw me at Trisha's last night, you know, I went down there with just my curls that I always, that just my natural curls. And, um, she has the Leduo, and she said, can I play with your hair and see what this will do? Because hers did her hair so well yesterday. Tried the hug, oh, the squeegee picked. Oh, Lori, I'm so glad you did. That was a while back, girl. I'm so, I want to see it posted in our group. If y'all aren't a member of Taterbug and Sweet Taterbugs yet, get over there and join. There's two questions. To answer, you just got to be follower of my page and agree to be sweet, which I'll always do. And it's the sweetest group of people, and you can share your um, share your creations and anything you want to share there. Kathy, do you? She did my hair last night at her house. I literally slept on it all night long. I got up today. I took a shower. I just didn't get my head wet. <laughs> And I t all I had to do was take that a pick to cover up my little spot in the back. This is all still from yesterday at Trisha's. <laughs> so guess what I did? I ordered the Leduo <laughs> today. I'm sold. Hey, Patty. So uh, we may have to do one when my when my Leduo gets here for her to sh for me to show you how she did my hair. Anyway, let's see what's going on. What happened here? Um, hey, Patty. Hey, is Corky new? I miss some. Yeah, there's Opus talking about. Okay. Yes. Answer two questions. <gasps> Jill, congratulations. You just became a grandma Friday. Oh, that's exciting. Uh, yeah, that they're dropping links for you there. Hello, Kristen. Are you still practicing with your Leduo? Yeah. Thank you, Deborah. This is leftover hair from yesterday. <laughs> I'm happy. There's Trish. Trish, were your ears burning? We were just talking about you. Okay, I'm just getting out a gray. This is Anita's gray. I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing. 
and I'm gonna get out my black uh, info to order I see so many ads for it um, I will you know what I'll do Susan um, I'll get you there's if you go to my videos and look for my original launch video uh, I have my link there but I'll be glad to pop it in the description of this video when I get off of here if y'all would like they've got some really great uh, specials going and here I am I mean this was not about launch but y'all have followed my launch journey with me and I'm not telling y'all anything that I don't already you know love myself that I'm not I haven't tried completely for y'all any link I share with y'all I can promise you it it's good <laughs> and that, that it's something that I really love. Hey, Roxanne. So, this is so easy, y'all, and I'm going to tell you, if you, um, if you're a perfectionist, uh, this might get under your skin a little, a little bit. Um, if anybody happens to have, can grab my launch link and drop it for Susan, that would be great. Hey, Gail. Um, or I can do it after the video, either one. But this is imperfect. If you follow me, you know I don't do a lot of perfect here. I, I'm not perfect. I don't even pretend to be. I like, yes, you can trust the tater, Betty. Thank you. Um, and I'm on a quest to try things for y'all and let you know. Trish and I, if you don't know, she's been my best friend since we were 13. And a lot of my other woman friends, um, we just automatically share things with each other that we love because if we find something if I find a mascara I love I'm gonna tell her girl get you some of this you know whatever product it might be so stands to reason I would do that with y'all here right hey Sarah there's Belle wonky that's what I do I love wonky wonky whimsical hi Diane I've got a one inch flat brush here so I'm just going for it. I'm not measuring. I am not trying to have perfect lines or anything. Hey, Joan, I'm just gonna start. Now I did a bunch of these last fall and Christmas with, with uh, um, this type of background. And so it's it was time for me to start. I wanted to do some more. I need inventory like I've told y'all at my stores where I sell my art and um, so I thought gosh it's time for me to do some of these and um, why don't I do this with my friends I'll prep some canvases for my paintings with this background and share with y'all how to just do this simple and you know what it's gonna turn out to be it is gonna be buffalo check and I just take it right around the edge just like this. We're gonna do several colors and sizes. This is, I think I've pulled an 11 by 14 canvas that I had on my shelf. Uh, so if you've got your canvas and painting uh, and paints out, go for it with me. Let's, let's just do this. Hey, Deborah. Oh, you know what? I bet you can paint. I bet you can paint. Okay, all I do is I set my brush down. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Let me do, yeah, you can see. Right on this end. And I kind of make a little dot right there with my paintbrush. See, that's, it's not perfect. It got out of the lines, that's okay. I see a lot of people who like to put the um, painter's tape down to get the straight, perfect lines. Um, I don't do it that way. I personally, it's a personal preference, and y'all may hate this. Like I said, this might just set y'all off. Hey, Vanetta, you caught me live. Yes, hey, Robin. Uh, this might just set off your, um, your anxiety if you like everything to be measured and... and really perfect lines. I just love the look of this um, this simple buffalo check that's not perfect because I'm going to paint on top of it anyway. I'm going to paint. Thank you, Sarah. I'm good. Thank you for sprinkling, Katie. 
I'm gonna paint something on top of this. You know, I'll put, this time of year, it's usually like a pumpkin trio. I'm just all eyeballing it this time. A pumpkin trio or uh, it's something with a fall theme. At Christmas, I painted a ton of these with um, Christmas trees. Actually, they weren't Christmas trees, they were evergreens. And uh, had so much fun with those. Soon, okay, hey Judy. Hey Amanda, how are you? There's Amanda from Amanda Made. Penny made it here. And there's Mr. Tater bugging back. Good for you. Okay, we have a we got a surprise coming up, y'all. You know we've been talking about we're we're over we are over um, 9,100 followers now, and when we hit 10,000. We are already starting to plan the celebration we're going to have around here for 10,000 followers. Yeah. And one of the things I can go on and, and, and announce is one of my sweet moderators, Cindy Kane. Y'all know her here. Uh, she's a sweet tater bug. Has uh, said that she, she commented, I missed it, but she let me know that she will be gifting five people with Dollar Tree calendars herself. I mean, she just wanted to do this when we hit 10,000. I'm telling you, we've got some really sweet tater bugs. Um, so she'll be doing that. And we're still planning all the other things. Uh, do I keep freezing, Cynthia? Sometimes you can uh, go out and come back in, or am I doing it to everybody? Yes, Susan, that's, she's my, she's my lifelong best friend since we were 13. I was at her house last night. Y'all may have seen that. Oh, hey, Debbie. Yeah, wasn't that sweet of Cindy to do? Um, oh, Betty's gonna, she's gonna send a craft box to somebody when we hit 10,000. I'm so excited. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Teresa goes way back to my, even my ugly dolls days. Oh, see how wonky I got there for a second? Okay, hey, Pat, there's Pat from Unique. I don't wanna miss anybody. Hi, Debbie, when I have to look down and paint though, I miss a few comments. But y'all, we're, we're getting so close, I'm getting excited. So I get to start this week, I'm really gonna be starting to um, figure out the things we're gonna do to celebrate hitting that big milestone. That's, y'all know, that has been a, oh, Trish says somebody's gonna get a necklace and earring set when I hit 10,000. Oh my goodness. For those of y'all who don't know and you wanna know about Trish's jewelry, uh, which I was at her house last night. I got to go up to her jewelry uh, studio where she creates the things that she's making that y'all haven't even seen yet, she'll have those up, I bet you, sometime this week. Um, but, oh, it, I wanted to slip a couple in my pocket. <laughs> she is killing it. I'm wearing all of her all of her jewelry today. These, look at these leather bracelets, y'all. But it's um, Love and Life Jewelry by Trish. You can find her on Shopify. You can follow her at Trish Thomas Love and Life on Facebook. I've even got some of her earrings on. Y'all, they're wonderful. And her prices are out of this world. Yes, Christy, we are gonna have a wing ding of a shebang when um, when we hit 10,000. I'm sure Mr. Tater Bungin will be cooking something really special. We'll probably have, are, you wanna come see? You, Is this a pink? No, uh -uh. we're just doing a live. He usually comes on and says hi during my lives. Um, we will have extra lives that week. Whenever we hit 10,000, we will just, it's gonna be fun. Lots of giveaways, obviously. I can't believe y'all are throwing in giveaways too. Cooked way too much again, Geneva, huh? Okay. I, did, I missed the first part of that conversation, but. So here, we, we're still going. We're just painting gray stripes, just like this. 
And there's Mr. T. Did he say hey or is he just standing there looming over me? I'm just leaning over you. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for joining me Friday nights. They've got um, meatloaf in the oven right now. Who does? Who said they have meatloaf in the oven? My brain is like a sieve. Hello, girls. Gail, Diane, all y'all. Wisconsin. Hey, Tracy. What's your friend's jewelry name? Um, Trish, you or Cindy or Betty or Opa, anybody who can, would you drop your link to hey, your shop and your Facebook page, please? Cindy Kane. Dana Glass. Hello. Any creatives that are on right now? I saw Amanda. I saw Pat. But any that I might have missed, please drop your link to your page. Debbie Rains has meatloaf in the oven. There you go. I was afraid. I thought it was Debbie, but I was afraid my brain had... Hey, Market, Virginia. Marie Klein. Are you new here? Hey, Marie. I'm on my last stripe going this way, y'all. Prayer for my daughter. She has COVID. Having a hard time. Oh, Libby, I am so sorry. We will be praying for your daughter. Bless it. Hey, sis. Oh, is Anne Marie here? There she yep. is. Gerald's sister, my sister in love. All right, here's what we have so far. Do you see how imperfect that is? Y'all don't have to. You don't have to measure if you don't want to. Thank you, Casey, for dropping your link. The plaid porch. Um, so we've gone around the edges, too. I just took it around the edges. And, y'all, this makes the easiest background. Oh, Robin, it was so good. The steak was so good. Can you post the site for Trisha's jewelry? Yeah, that's Is Trisha what, here? Trisha's here. I asked them to share that. Absolutely. And uh, her, you know, she's got her Shopify shop and her page where she does devotionals and just life videos. You know, and she's really just real. Has some beautiful jewelry. Oh my goodness! Yeah, like I said, I I saw them last I'm night. New since your love with Lee. Oh, good. Who, who was that? Let me see. Kathy, so glad you're here. Yes, we had the best time. Lee and I had a great time crafting together, making those pumpkins. That was a week ago today, yeah. Hey, Elizabeth B. And Ghost, is Elizabeth here? And there's Opa. I said, I saw my Opa here, yeah. Oh, thank you, Casey. Thank you. This is, uh, we're just, this is a, one, a good one where we can chat and paint while I paint. Um, because... This is so simple. There's Trisha. Y'all can try. There we go. Thank you, Cindy. Y'all check her jewelry out. I'm telling you. She's doing some. Well, she does a lot. A lot of different kinds. Today, I have the different leather on, which I'm really digging right now. Um, Thank you for the stars and tossing the taters. Who is the nice gentleman? Welcome, Corky. The nice gentleman behind me is my husband, uh, Gerald, Mr. Tater Buggin, and he goes live. Usually, it's every Friday night uh, with his cooking show because he loves to cook. He does all our cooking, and he wants to share it with y'all. So um, that's what he's been doing. He does. The link. He does all my woodworking. So anything um, that's wood related that you order from our online shop. That's this man right here. He's my woodworker. Chicken enchiladas. Those are good. Oh, wow. I love chicken enchiladas. And so easy. Really good. And that night, he made the two dips with the chicken enchiladas. Ooh. Made, yeah. Oh, so yummy, Nancy. Well, I'm going to leave y'all to this. Have fun. Okay, we're just painting our buffalo check with a one-inch paintbrush if you're getting on here. I haven't had my shed done. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for coming in, sweetheart. Okay. He actually um, went earlier this afternoon and got to... He, has, he used to play golf all the time and hasn't in years. So he took a little break and uh went and hit some golf balls so he's <laughs> he's a little out of practice and a little tired right now <laughs> but
But he's also been working on um, the next big project for y'all that I can't wait to tell you about. Hey, Rosa. Elizabeth, I am using, so simple, Anita's Gray. That's what it's called. Gray and black. I hadn't gotten to the black yet, but I'll show you what we're going to do with that. But those, this isn't the only color we're going to do. We're going to do some smaller canvases. Um, more space when painting these lines. No, I'm not. I don't intend to. No, I, if it comes out that way, it comes out that way. Like I said, this is going to be really wonky. Um, hey, Carrie. I don't tend to do a whole lot of perfection here. Or, you know, you can absolutely... Do your buffalo check where you um, put down your painter's tape and measure it off. But if I had to do that, I would never paint buffalo check because my brain just doesn't seem to want to work that way. <laughs> I don't know why, you know, a lot of people, and it comes out so pretty. It really does. And it's um, very perfect. But for some reason, I just prefer this hand-done um, imperfect look. Bev, I am just doing this background. I have got to do some more paintings for some local shops that carry my work. And so I thought it would be fun. This is what I started doing last fall as I would paint this background and then I would usually paint pumpkins or something fall related. Then in Chris at Christmas, I would do this and paint evergreen, an evergreen tree, and splatter it with white snow and write Mary across the bottom. Uh, so this, I'll be probably doing a lot of this through the Christmas season. Um, but what I'll do is, I thought I would go on and, and paint the background, show y'all how I do it in case you wanted to try it. And then they'll dry and I'll be able to, um, get some paintings done for my locations. Uh, let's see, the ghosts in the background are making me laugh. Amanda, if y'all didn't see last Sunday's Live with Lee, you watch just for the ghosts if you want to. It went haywire fast. All right, I just dipped, I didn't wash my brush. I just dipped into the black and every place that your lines intersect, just hit it with some black paint. Just like that. That's where, you know, the two colors would um, intersect and it would be just a little bit darker. But we're going to, you know, kind of amplify that with the black. We had so much fun and we got so tickled. Welcome, Lynn. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you'll enjoy our page. We were talking about any of y'all who are new and, and on the fence about following. We're at 90, we're over 9,100 followers now. So we're so close to my goal of, one of my goals of 10,000 that um, we're planning our 10K celebration around here. When we hit that milestone, uh, we are gonna do some partying and have lots of gifts that are going out and um, it's gonna be a lot of fun so I hope you'll join us so see how imperfect this is turning out hi Holly oh I didn't I wasn't even looking at the numbers we went over 200 oh my goodness I get, I get so excited y'all I just get so excited I don't know I had a goal of um, reaching 200 viewers for my lives and uh, Y'all are getting me there. I'm telling you, here we are. Did, no, he hasn't, Elizabeth. We're waiting on an email back from Facebook. He did send the criteria to Facebook, but y'all, it's it's scary because um, um, it wasn't just his Facebook that was hacked. Now it's we've got another account that's been hacked. Um, it shook me enough it, that it's been fixed. That part, other part's been fixed. But it shook me enough 
that um, when he lost his page just overnight because someone hacked it, that I could wake up tomorrow and y'all wouldn't be able to find me. I mean, I would have nothing because you can look him up now and he's disappeared. They shut him down, which I'm thankful for because somebody did hack his account and tried to message me and Facebook shut it down. Uh, thank you, Pat. You're so sweet. Uh, but I thought, you know what? I've got to save my content. So I'm in the process of doing that and putting it on YouTube as well. So I started with his cooking videos. I'm limited to 10 a day. Um, we, I started his playlist. It's all of his cooking videos that he's done so far. And he's done, I believe, 11. So we have that playlist playlist up on our YouTube uh, channel. So if you ever are looking for me and I'm, you don't see the tater bugging page, just know something bad happened and you can find me um, on YouTube as well. I will be in the process of uploading all of mine. I started my playlist today and started with um, our fall crafts that we've done so far and am working my way backwards. So, oh, who sent, somebody said, hello, sweet friend, and sent me 200 stars. And about, oh, it's Terry. Hi, Terry. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much. Jennifer, I, I had to, I did all the cooking, you know, uh, while he, when he was, before he retired, he worked 12 hours a day. So I did all the cooking for, you know, until last November when he uh, retired. So I cook, not as good as him, and I, I did not like to cook. I love to bake sometimes. Uh, get re I really get in the mood to do baking at the holidays, you know, or special occasions. But just to cook, mm, it's not my thing, and he loves it. So I gladly gave over the kitchen to him. <laughs> and so, oh, y'all are so sweet to send those stars. Thank you. Was that Cindy and Teresa? Oh, yeah, Pat, it's really a good idea, I think, because, you know, just in case, you know, something bad happened. But look, I, you know, can you, it's, yes, it's wonky. It's not perfect. But I really love the way this turns out. So one thing, I don't know that I did it this way last year. I wanna try some new ways with y'all today. We're just gonna try them together. We got 30 more minutes. Debbie, thank you for those stars. Oh, y'all are so sweet. It's Sandra, oh my goodness. I appreciate y'all, I do. Uh, and this won't take as long because we're gonna do this little um, eight by eight canvas. That These are all canvases that I just had on hand. Thanks, Penny. Do you really? Thank you, Debbie, for subscribing. I looked before we went before I went live today, and we already have a hundred subscribers. Thanks to y'all, I just couldn't believe it. That's exciting. We want you, <laughs> Cindy. Yeah, I told them. I told them uh, during Friday night's live with uh, Mr. Taterbug and that the star money is going to go toward. Um, it's, it always goes toward shipping happy mail, but we're gonna earn enough to get him this apron that somebody shared. What did it say? Cooking with good looking, I think. <laughs> so I'm dying to get that and watch his face turn red. Excuse me. I had to take my sinus medicine today because we got some weather coming in. And uh, yeah, uh, and my head was hurting. So, I'm trying to decide. I'm going to go smaller. Uh, I used this paintbrush earlier. I think with this smaller canvas, we'll take, take it down a notch on our paintbrush size. Thank you, Terry, for doing that. I appreciate it. Um, but let's try this. Y'all tell me what you think. Let me, let me ask you what you think. Basically what you do with this type of painting, you can use any color you want. And I usually take a deeper hue and I try to find something that coincides in just a lighter shade. But if you don't have that, take your darker color 
and put it down on your palette and just add a little white to it and bring it up a little bit, uh, lighten it up a little bit, and then just use this, uh, your darker shade, to hit the squares with. So you can do it with just one color but I have a gazillion paints, y'all know. So I pulled these today. This is um, Sage Mint from Americana and Spearmint from Anita's. But look how pretty those are together. So I pulled those. Is Lee here? Is my friend Lee here? We were talking about you, girlfriend. And, um, oh, your sinuses are going crazy too. I'm sorry, Lee. Mine are bad and I hate to even say this out loud but I think my mama has some arthritis in her fingers and it started in her early 50s but just now this this knuckle has started bothering me when it's gonna rain and it hurts so bad today oh it's not fun getting old y'all okay now let me show you I also pulled yeah I pulled these yellows so which one would y'all rather see? Um, do hearts for, if you want to see me do green plaid or do a thumbs up for yellow plaid? 220, oh yeah, wow. So I'm gonna let y'all decide which color we're gonna do. Hey Tanya, um, and Lee, I'm, Lee says green. Okay, let me set that aside. Lee, I've got to text you because um, our grand master plan is coming together. I want to talk to you about that. No, sometimes they're not quite so golden, Jimmy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> green, 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 green. Okay, I see a lot of hearts. Uh, yeah, Opa, that's a club I had really hoped not to join, <laughs> but I kind of knew it was going to happen. Uh, so we're doing green unanimously. Let me see, are these the same? This one is, that was a one inch paintbrush that I use. It looks like this is three quarter inch. So, um, I was seeing what my notification was up there. Yeah, I can keep the golden years. Yeah, mom says getting old isn't for sissies. So, okay, I'm gonna put my lighter green down first. Like I said, this is Sage Mint from Americana, and we're just gonna go for it. All right, same thing. I'm not, you know, getting all fancy with it. I'm just gonna start painting. Is this messing with anybody's um, perfectionistic tendencies? I hope not. Because if you follow me, you know I, I, I don't do a lot of, uh, I don't even do well with stenciling. I freehand most things just because it's just the way my brain works. It's nothing against doing it that way. So, I just, it's the way I like to do it and, and I happen to like the way it turns out. So, but like I said earlier, you feel free to put down that painter's tape and mark off your lines. I'd lose my mind doing that. I'd mess, I'd mess up the tape faster than I'd mess up the these lines, I believe. But I've seen some people do it, and boy, when they pull that tape off, it's so impressive. Oh, good, Jill. I'm so glad. You keep kicking it, Susan. I plan to do that, too. I plan to do it. I'm not, I'm not giving in that easy. Um... Like I said the other day, I'm creeping up on 57 really fast right now. Can you not, Carol? What, how come? What, what's your main issue with it? I would love to know. So maybe we could, sometimes all it takes is somebody saying just the right thing to and it makes your brain see it in a different way, and it uh, is helpful in your painting. It could, that could, well, I'm way past that, Elizabeth, so I guess it's even worse than that. But I didn't know, yeah, it's not, that's not easy at all. 
at all. Are you feeling it, Debbie? Oh, yes, I'm using greens for this plaid. Everybody seemed to, most everybody chose green. I've never done it in green. I'm doing it with y'all, but I thought this might end up being a pretty uh, fall plaid too. If it turns out looking too springy, you know what? I'll save this canvas and I'll do a spring painting on top of it next year. Yeah, don't give in to it. What I need to get back to doing that I used to do religiously was exercise. And since I've gotten busier with my business, I've let that fall by the wayside and that's not good. And I can tell it and the way I feel. Yes, Jimmy, the key to the line size is the width of your paintbrush. Just use that as your, your gauge, you know, however wide you want your stripes to be. And then I try to just eyeball and leave a white stripe around the same uh, size in between. Sharon, I'll probably, now that the black one that I did, the gray one, I'll probably paint a pumpkin trio on top of it. That's what I did a lot of last year. Um, if you go way back through my posts and, uh, and uh, pictures, my photos, you could just go to photos on my page. You'll see some this time last year. I would just do, you know, pumpkins. And then at Christmas, um, I did evergreens with snow. I hope you'll try it, Vicki. If y'all try it, please post it to the group. I want to see y'all's. I think it, this, I love doing this. This is, um, and to me, it just adds a fun element to your paintings. Um, and it's just, like I said in the beginning, if you didn't hear it, um, Amanda, you kill me. I might do one. I might do one. <laughs> Y'all, Amanda's my friend. I'm telling you, she makes me laugh and she keeps me on my toes during my lives. Girl, I'm going to get you back. <laughs> um, but anyway, last year at this time, well, for the past, I think it's been three or four years, I have been swamped with custom orders uh, especially for Christmas but they got they were going on all year long and then at Christmas it got really hairy I didn't get to do a lot of Christmas shopping I didn't get to enjoy the holidays because I was too busy trying to meet those deadlines and I decided last Christmas when I if I made it through it I was taking this year off and I've stuck to my guns for the most part. There were a few custom orders I, I was behind on. I really had to go on and do, but I have I've had to turn them down and it hurts my heart. But the stress had gotten to where um, it, it was just awful. And so I decided this year I was taking a year off, but last fall, in between pet portraits and custom orders that were so detailed, I needed something really easy and calming, but it had to work for my inventory. You know, I needed to paint things for my different locations where I sell. And so I decided to do some backgrounds with this Buffalo, easy Buffalo check. And uh, that's what I would do in between those really tedious detailed orders. I would just paint backgrounds like this and I was still getting something accomplished but um, it wasn't stressing me out so that was why I started um, doing it this way doing this type of painting oh thank you Betty yes y'all tell, tell them about the the uh, the um, group we've got paint classes if you're new I do monthly paint classes that you can always sign up for they're on my Shopify. Um, this month is a sunflower, but you can sign up anytime. The sunflower is right here behind me. We are working on that. It's a four-parter because it's got texture. Okay, there's the light color of our green. Oh, hey, Tiffany, my sweet friend. 
where do you subscribe actually it's not even a subscription you get to pick and choose which ones you want to sign up for at any time i just had somebody sign up for the snowman class that i did last december it's still available um i did a, a gnome painting last november it's still available if you want to do that you can still sign up for it and um so yeah they're they're always available I put down some of my spearmint from Anita's, just a little bit darker than the green we were using. And I'm just, I didn't rinse my brush. I'm just going to start covering every square where they intersected, where the lines intersect with this little bit darker color. Oh, did y'all see my dogs? Yeah. Three dogs and one cat and all rescues and they they that this is their house we just live in it patty that's the sweetest thing to say thank you so much i just uh and you know lee and i were talking about it before we went live last sunday and i didn't know she did this too but you know before i go live i just pray that uh god will give me the words and you know the that I need and bring me the people who need to be here and that they'll be up, uplifted and entertained and um, just have a good time for a little bit for an hour if I can bring a little joy and happiness for an hour out of your day uh, it makes me happy and I had somebody message me um, before live today I believe it was, was it Roxanne forgot I'm sorry I do this no it was Jennifer and wanted to know if I had a text number to you know text y'all and let you know when I go live but I don't our page is just not quite big enough for that yet I got to grow a little bit more and y'all are making that happen but um I do keep it my regular lives the ones that aren't just off the cuff are Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 4 Central. So I try to keep to that schedule um, as best I can. So y'all know, if you wanna catch my lives, you'll know that's when I'm gonna be on. Oh, is Opa having, oh, she's gotta go ice, y'all. Our Opa had um, shoulder surgery not too long ago, and she's having to do that PT and everything. It was an extensive so uh, shoulder surgery, so. She can't really, it's a lot for her to try to stay here the whole hour right now. I'm so glad y'all said to do this green. I love it. Who said that? Susan, you're so sweet. 30s, girl. I love you. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> oh. The painter's tape confuses me too, Marguerite. I just... My brain does not compute that. I, you know, I, I promise I'm not a, a total idiot. I did get a college degree, not that that really means anything, but I cannot do it with the painter's tape. I mean, yeah, the painter's tape. But boy, I can whip these out, and as long as uh, nobody minds that they're wonky, um, it is sage mint and spearmint. Spearmint is Anita's and Sage Mint is Americana. But listen, just pull a deeper color out. Put it on your, you know, I just use one of these Dollar Tree plates or, you know, paper plate. Put your darker color down, add a little bit of white to it until you get a light, lighter hue in that same shade. Use that for your basic lines and then take that dark and just go over the squares. You don't even need two, two different color paints. Just pick any paint color you like that you want to do. Now this one's really messy y'all, but if you're looking at it like this and it's got a painting on top of it, are you really going to worry about that? I like it. I just like the way they look. Oh, thank you for saying that Robbie. Thank you so much. Oh, get Trish to 300, absolutely. Oh, I'm so excited y'all are doing that. So we're gonna set this one aside to dry. Now, what I'm thinking about doing, I think might be ambitious. 
But y'all know I'm not chicken to try stuff in front of y'all and fail. It happens a lot. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it's a big bust. But I've got two down that have worked. And I, I don't know if this, I, I pulled this little um, six by six canvas, but my friend Leanne Moss has classic inspirations at Southern Vintage Company here in Bartlett. And in her beautiful booth, she had this stool. And I thought, I saved the picture because I loved the colors. Now it didn't print out exactly the way it looks. It has yellow, and I believe from the photo, it was a blue and a green. And I thought, ooh, could I do that on a canvas? Um, so, okay, so do y'all want me to do a pumpkin or do you want me to try this? Where I know we're at 446. I can get you started on a pumpkin. Uh, but I just, I will try this at some point. <laughs> Rita, I bet she would do a jig. Mr. Taterbug jigged twice Friday night because of y'all, I think. Pumpkin, please, Karen says. Elizabeth, you tell me. You're fancy. I don't know if that's what it's called or not, but I think it is beautiful, and I love it. So I thought, ooh, could I do that many colors on a plaid? Y'all say, pumpkin, try the stool paint. Okay, try the three colors, pumpkin... Oh gosh, it's a toss up. It's for every one comment, the other one says the opposite. Okay, I tell y'all what. Since we only have 15 minutes, let me try this today. You come back on Tuesday at four o'clock, we'll paint the pumpkin on. In fact, I might go on and try to do a pumpkin trio for you on this. How about that? Does that sound good? Okay. Okay, now all y'all are saying three. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I just made an executive decision. I am going to uh, teach y'all or show y'all how I do the pumpkins on um, Tuesday at 4. So, put it in your phone, mark your calendar, whatever. Be back here at 4 o'clock on Tuesday. But right now, I think I'm going to try. I think I'm going to go on and try uh, this plaid. I think I might try it small. What do y'all think? Can I do a three on this small? Yes, sir. Nothing? Oh, good, Rhonda. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Good, Judy. Um, but we're going to see if I can pull off this, this, uh, this plaid real quick. I'll just do it in smaller, uh, with a smaller pet brush. Sorry, that was loud. Now, okay, I'm going to tell y'all, the pumpkin I'm going to paint on Tuesday that's going to go on top of that plaid will not be a plaid pumpkin. It'll be a regular pumpkin. You think it might be easier on a rectangle? That's what I was thinking, Betty. That's what I was thinking. What have I got? What have I got? You know what? Why don't we go easy and I'll do it on a, an 8 by 10 I can't do a plaid pumpkin, Rula. Girl! And if I did a plaid on top of a plaid, I think my head might explode. Now she's got me thinking, how do I do a plaid pumpkin? I think I might have to try it, but I'm not, I have to do that separate from that background. I know, Darla, where have you been? Uh, Jennifer, you asked me how I learned to paint. Uh, that's interesting, I'll have to tell you. I, hey Bo, hey sweetheart. I see now I wasn't gonna get up. Y'all saw my old ugly house dress. Who made me get up? Betty, was that you? Goodness, bare feet and a house dress. Y'all were thinking I was looking all cute till then, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do this eight by ten, but you asked how I learned to paint. Uh my dad was an awesome artist. He just didn't think so. He could draw. He did watercolor. Um, beautifully. Beautifully. Half the time, 
he would then wad it up and throw it away because he thought it wasn't good enough. Well, I ended up getting one, and I, I have, um, have it matted and framed. But, um, anyway, I told everybody, you know, the artistic genes skipped a generation because my youngest son is very artistic, always has been, and still is. Um, and I just told everybody it skipped a gene. And then it, I was 50 years old, and somebody invited me to go to Painting with a Twist. And um, so I did, and I told them, I, I hope you've got a, uh, I hope you've got a template or a stencil or something because I can't draw or paint. They did. It was a skyline for Memphis. Very, very easy. And once I sat down to start painting, I just calmed down. I have, I have anxiety. I've had anxiety all my life. And um, so, it calmed me down. And I enjoyed it so much that I would go back and do painting with a twist with other friends. And we just had a great time. And then for my 50th birthday party, my friends threw me. I said, I want to do a paint party. And um, they did that. We had a great time. And then I took off on my own because I just enjoyed it so much. I started doing it at home on my own time. And I had my own business at the time. It was called Ugly Dolls. And um, I would paint and post those on my Ugly Dolls page. And people wanted to buy them. And I found out I much prefer painting to sewing. <laughs> I didn't care to sew. So I just started tater bugging. And it, that's um, self-taught. It's by trial and error. I love it with all my heart. It's what I love to do. So that's how I learned to paint. And that's why it's imperfect. And I don't even mind. As long as somebody enjoys what I do, I'm happy with it. Now let me show you what I've been doing while I've been talking. I used a deeper shade of blue. What is this? Waterfall by Ceram Coat. I just added some white to it and I brought it up several shades. What is an ugly doll, Beverly? Well, if I got up once, I might as well get up again. Where I, I saved my original. I still have my original. And I cleaned up the other day and I moved it to another spot so I, I don't have it to show you. But you can look it up, U-G-G-L-E-E, -E, two different words, dolls on Facebook. The page is still there. And I do still love them. They hold a special place in my heart. And I saved some special ones just to keep. We had a ball. We had a ball doing that. My friends joined in. And, um, okay, now I'm looking at this picture while I talk to y'all. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I hadn't figured this out quite in my head yet. But, um, well, there I went and lost my train of thought. But. I'm going to do this blue because I noticed, you know, I have to figure out how these lines go and this may blow my mind, but anyway, when I started, I didn't start uh, leading uh, paint classes, I started doing free paint parties online last year when we couldn't get out. And you'll still see those on the Tater Buggin page. I think I started last March, a oh, year ago, March. And it was the first time I think I had ever gone live other, on my own page. I had done it for Southern Vintage, you know, for their live sales. But never, I don't think ever on my page, or not much. Not like this. And, um, so I just found out I enjoyed teaching and I enjoyed passing along these silly little things that I do in my head to make each break each painting down into simple I taught classes at Southern Vintage in person while we could you know and and it start I, I'll have my first one actually on September 11th um, next month at Southern Vintage it'll be the first one I've done um, since everything happened 
and uh, I loved it. I loved being able to pass along these little tips and tricks to make things easier for people who think they can't paint, but if I can paint, you can paint. Um, Trish will tell you, she's known me since I was 13. She did not know I could do it, and so, yeah, I proved it. Oh, who said they'd love one of my paintings? How sweet of you. Thank you, Marsha. Are we, we're, oh my goodness, we're four away from 300. What's going on? Oh my goodness. Oh, you looked up ugly dog. No, they're dolls. <laughs> okay, now I'm studying this. Uh, let's see. So I'm seeing these blue, light blue lines, but then this one I think was yellow. I think it was yellow. I'm going to go with it. So I think I'm gonna do two yellows and see if I can fit then a one green in the middle. Let's see, I don't know. Do y'all show, th now see mine went down to 290, it's different. I don't know. Well, Trish, you knew me all those years when, uh, one day I was over at her house and was just painting, I was playing. And this was before I started the tater bugging business. It, I was still doing ugly dolls. So I was just painting for fun. Um, and she looked over at what I was doing and she just goes, who are you? Where has this been all these years? <laughs> hey, Eva. Okay, I see two. Oh, it just hit 300, y'all. <laughs> it just hit 300. Can I keep them? Can I keep them? Y'all stay, stay. I'm, I'm trying to paint the plaid in a different color. I need you here. <laughs> All right, let me get my light, light yellow. I'm so silly. I know. I saw it, though. I saw that number, y'all. I saw it. It was there. Oh, that's, that is that color. Okay. Crazy. Let's try a couple. Of, can I fit two yellows on here? I'm going to try. Let's see. I have, this is the first time I've ever tried um, three different colors painting a plaid. We'll just see what it, it may end up looking like the hottest mess you ever saw when I'm done, but I will have tried for y'all. Okay, now let me go down here and do another yellow. Who's new from... Hey, hey, Shelly. Oh, you sweet thing. Thank you. Tammy from Madisonville, Tennessee. Hey, Tammy. I am just outside of Memphis in Bartlett. Where is Madisonville? I think I'm going to fit it. I think I will fit uh, the two yellows and a green in the middle. And then see if my brain can figure out which darker color to put on which square this will be interesting yep and if y'all are just getting here and you're new um we're trying to get to our 10 that 10k celebration around here we're at 9100 followers just over 9100 and when i hit 10k followers there's gonna be a celebration and let me tell you this, today I also want to tell you that Sweet Cindy Kane sent me a goodie box of um, supplies. And that sweet thing added in two of the Dollar Tree calendars and told me that it was up to me what I wanted to do with everything. She saw that I said the other day I didn't have any lace. And that girl went around her house and she started putting a box, a goodie box together for me. So I'll be crafting with that lace. But she added these to the box. So I'm gifting two of you, two of you. One will get this new Dollar Tree calendar and the other will get this one. So if that's something you're interested in, comment calendar. Because I'm going to start scrolling here in a little bit. And I'm going to pull two names. And we will use star money to get these sent to you two. 
um, I've been gifting my paint classes, which I'll get back to. I'll probably do that on Tuesday. But that's what Cindy shared with me. Those are from Cindy. And uh, she's our she's one of our sweet moderators. Now I'm gonna do the green right here in the middle of the two yellows. Yeah, we're right at five o'clock. I think I'm gonna try not to keep y'all much longer. I try not to keep y'all a whole bunch over an hour unless it's a special occasion. Okay, I see the calendars from Michael's Paint Spinners. Yes, y'all, if you, um, I have a, a post pinned to the top of my tater bugging page with all my links. If there's anything you question, uh, if you want our YouTube, if you want the Sola Flower link, my paint spinners, our Amazon uh, favorite things, check that post first because I try to, to keep it updated with any links that y'all might need or might be interested in so you can find them all in one spot. Okay. Now let me show y'all. Here's what I have. Can you tell the colors? Now I've got to figure out what color goes over the top. Real quick, before I figure that out, let me go on and do one of the calendars. We're going to gift a calendar. So let me scroll, and I'm going to stop on one of your comments that says calendar. Okay, Patricia Stanley says calendar, please. Let me write your name down, Patricia. And I'm going to need you, Patricia Stanley, to message me your shipping address. And I'm going to pop, well, the shipping department, Mr. Taterbuggin, will do that. He's going to pop you a calendar in the mail. All right. I'm going to give it just a minute, and I'm going to pick another one. So, I'm seeing... Hmm, because it's different. I see a little bit of light blue on the top of the yellow. What, what, what should I do? Y'all help me out. Um, oh, y'all, I didn't do the other. I've got to go the other way. I'm losing my mind. All right. Now, let me pick another one since I messed up there. Okay, I'm scrolling. I'm going to stop on a calendar comment. D. Foster says, calendar, please. D, all you have to do is message me your shipping address, and I'll pop that in the mail to you. Thank y'all very much. I'm so excited y'all are here. It's 3.03. We got up to 3.03, so some came back maybe, or new ones. I don't know. Okay, now, so let me go back into my blue. I'm going to try to do this fast, y'all, so you're not sitting here forever. And I guess I have to determine... Let me see what this does when I go across three colors with paint. Maybe that'll determine. Hmm, I don't know what this is gonna look like. I really don't. My nose also always itches when I go live. <laughs> uh, okay, there's a blue there. Now this will be a little different because we have more space going this way. 310 what hello Charlotte my word it is we are over 300 so if you're just joining I'm just trying out a different plaid background I did two already oh Pat I love watching you too you're so sweet dry brush the yellow over the blue okay all right I think the nose only itches when I, right, Amanda? It, it's, I think it happens to a lot of us. That and not being able to come up with words. Words are hard when you're alive. All right, so yellow. Let's see what happens here. I don't know. This is a grand experiment right now. which may turn out to be. The great thing about canvas and acrylics, y'all, is that, and always remember this, if you paint something and it, it's something you just really don't like the way it turned out, doesn't look good, let it dry, paint over it. Don't throw your canvases away. 
uh, I've painted over so many canvas mistakes. If it just doesn't suit your fancy, that's fine. Just paint over it, but just let that paint dry first. Try not to cover the second layer thick. Yeah, I think you're right, Betty. Let me, let's try that. I, I just patted it off on the, uh, so we're supposed to go lightly with this. I see what you mean, yeah. Oh, but I got, <laughs> let me go back this way a little bit. My, I got extra wonky. And we can always go back over these squares, right? That's gonna be okay, right? Let's see. And now I'm gonna do, should I do two green in the middle? Lori, that, that just stinks, doesn't it? It stinks, and I do I, I do it a lot, and you put so much time and effort into it, and then you just really don't like it. Mm. I, I thank you for that, Kathy. Hey, Elizabeth, I appreciate that. Y'all are really sweet to say that, that uh, watching me paint relaxes you, but I know from watching other people paint, it relaxes me too. Um, to watch other people letter, hand letter, so relaxing. I love it. So I'm glad, I'm glad that mine does too. And just one green in the middle, even though it's kind of far apart. I'll try it. Hey, Sherry. But, but that's going to look weird because it's that far apart. You don't think I should do two and then, oh, one green in the middle and maybe two blue. I missed what you said. I bet you can, Lori. I bet you can. Uh, yeah, we're still live. I'm still painting. I, I've done that sort of thing too, Penny. I told y'all during one of his cooking lives one time, Trisha and I were making a chocolate, um, chocolate pie that called for cream cheese in it. We weren't paying attention because we were like 13 or 14 and we were babysitting. So we had gotten our ingredients, do blue in the middle and then two green. Perfect. Will do, okay. So we were gonna make this chocolate pie. We were so ready for it. We were babysitting her nephew that night, but we didn't notice that we had bought cream cheese with chives and we were <laughs> cutting the, the pie and we said, why are there green specks in this? Chocolate pie with chives is not good, y'all. In case you in case you thought you might want to try it it's not good <laughs> uh, you know I'm doing the buffalo check Pat so I don't I've never done it with the skinnier lines like a true plaid um, but I do want to do that I would like to try that this year I painted the buffalo check so much between this time of year in Christmas last year, I kind of was like, okay, I can I can do without some buffalo check for a while now. But I'm ready again. It's time. I can always count on y'all to, uh, to walk me through these things live. It'd be great to give me guidance when I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying something new. And using three colors I had not not done before. I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. It's really um, look like chives. Yeah, they were beautiful pies. If we had not bought the cream cheese with chives, those would have been some awesome pies. I don't think so, Lori. I don't think so because I'm not. You know, you see, mine are wonky. These are not <laughs> perfect at all. Okay, I'm going back into the blue but I'm not gonna do it too heavy. We're going to, going straight down the middle here. All right, here I'm going on the sides. All right, here's what I have right here. Now I get to decide 
what colors I want to put on top. Yeah, these are springy colors, aren't they, Claudia? If I want to make it uh, for fall, I'm going to have to go a different color route. But I can always save this canvas for next spring, you know, and paint Easter eggs on it or whatever. It's great. It'll be fun. All right, let's see here. I know I want to go dark green over where the greens overlap. we got that and I want to go darker yellow where the yellows overlap did I miss the side on the top thank y'all I did okay I'll fill that in I'll fill that in stick to the same colors I can't, now I can't believe the numbers. Isn't it crazy? Y'all are, y'all did something, I know. Okay, I'm just gonna go on and pull out a darker, deeper yellow. It's uh, antique gold, actually. It's just one I have on my table. We're gonna see what it looks like. Do that over the yellow. talking to Lee if you're talking to me I just love you too you make me so happy so see we've gotten those are no-brainers but okay so I gotta do blue I gotta do the deeper blue now <laughs> That's, Lee don't give me an angry face <laughs> thank you Teresa oh I'm glad y'all don't mind me experimenting with y'all this is a whole new ball game for me now Okay, so I made a lighter blue out of this one. So I'm just going to put this down on my plate to cover the little blue parts. Do you like it, Jimmy? Oh, I'm so glad. You never know if these experiments that you do live are going to, you know, make you look like a fool or you might accidentally do something right. So, and and this, the jury's still out on this one, y'all. I don't know. But we're, it's fun. It's so fun to try. Where are my blues intersection? Right here. I told y'all this is going to mess with my head figuring this out. No, nope, no, nope, there. Am I getting somewhere? Blue, blue. There's a blue, blue right there. And here. Any others? Okay. So now let me do a... Uh, did the dark green. Now I gotta decide. I might have to do five more to use all the paint. <laughs> I know. I know, and I don't like to waste paint, y'all. I really don't. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to. Okay, I'm, I think I know. I think I know what I might do here. Let me just, let me see. Yeah, I've got it right here. Let me try something. I'm going to go with this, just a little bit of this darker yellow right here on top of this. I mean lightly. Where it covered, it was on top of, wherever the yellow is on top, I'm going to put a deeper yellow, I think. Just a little bit, like that. I almost wipe all of it off. I'm just being really, really light with it. Like that. Where else? Okay, now let me do that with, really pat, oh! Wow, that really makes me happy. Oh my goodness, I love hearing that. Um, okay, now I think I'm going to do the same with the darker blue, but just really 
um, wipe most of it off, but go lightly over the top where the blue was on top. I'm not just totally messing it up but again if it looks a mess I'll paint right over it I'll paint um, the the gray and black check right over this and nobody will ever know about my mistake but we will have tried it together and I might have spared you the trouble <laughs> of doing this And now uh, the darker green. Can't wait to see what you paint on each of these canvases. Me neither. <laughs> I'm excited to see. I've got to get some uh, more paintings done this week. Y'all have been uh, showing up to get my paintings um, here in Memphis for sure. Okay, bye sis. I hope to talk to you soon. I missed one hello yellow. I sure did. Mm, okay, I'll go back to that in just a minute. Let me let me hit this green. Right here. I sure did miss a yellow. don't know about this but I can't see if it keeps being so mm, springy looking I could see fun Easter eggs painted on top of this for next spring Oh, you leaving, Teresa? I'll see you Tuesday. Let me just do this yellow that I missed so I can say I did it. Uh, or a bunny, yes. But I'm having a feeling, y'all, this one's going to be painted over. I don't know. I don't know. How'd I do? I, it... it I think I could live with it for spring. I really do. But that's a lot of different colors. It does not... I'm going to have to perfect this. <laughs> this is not this. I need to go study Leanne's stool in person. <laughs> Nancy. Oh, uh, no. Y'all, I have to go back and, uh, you know, pick out a thumbnail after I do videos and some of the faces I make. I'm surprised y'all don't screenshot them and uh, post them because there's some crazy ones. Okay, to recap, if you didn't see, here's the one I painted first on 11 by 14. This is the one we'll paint uh, Tuesday at 4. I'm going to put some pumpkins, a pumpkin, some pumpkins. I don't know. i got to figure that out. I didn't think that far ahead. We'll do that Tuesday. And then I did this little um, green one. So, I haven't decided what I'll do with this yet. I'm kind of thinking I'll, I'm seeing an orange pumpkin on top of this. What do you think? Orange or white? I don't know which. I want to do um, a plaid background and teals, too, because I just love teals. So, that's what we did today. We painted this fun uh, buffalo check, the easy way, no painter's tape. And uh, had a good time. I had a great time with y'all. And wow, there's there were 300. There's Lynn. Watch uh, the replay. Oh, were you paint? You were painting cans. I uh, I love painting cans. Thank y'all for being here today. I just I had so much fun. White pumpkin on it, Trish. Yes, I think that'd be pretty. I did a lot of white pumpkins last year. I, I love to paint teal pumpkins. There may be a teal pumpkin on the black and white check. Thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate that. I'm glad y'all had fun. Um, what it, it looks, 
old time tablecloth. Yeah, 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 yeah. A sunflower. Oh, on the, on this one? Or the green one, or what? which one? I love painting sunflowers, y'all. Uh, that's what I'm doing this month. Yes, I'll see y'all Tuesday. Come back on Tuesday. I did paint it, Teresa. This one is the one I'm teaching this month. Uh, you can find it in my online shop. I teach you texture. If you want to do texture with it, it's optional. But, um, yeah, that this is the painting I'm teaching you this month. So, um if you want to learn how to paint it, come join us. Sunflower on green, Betty. That, ooh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that. Thanks, Rita. Oh, you said sunflower on the last one, Amanda. I might do it. Just see how it turns out. I, like I said, I can paint over it. Thank you so much for being here, Pat. Everybody, I appreciate you being here. I'm going to go and... Um, we are going to get back to um, powwowing with Lee and Mr. Taterbuggin. We've got something we're cooking up. So, you'll hear about that soon, I hope. Um, do the next step of painting with the sunflower class. I actually had hoped to yesterday, Betty, but I didn't get to. I ran out of time before we were leaving for Trisha's. Um, so, I'm, I'm shooting for tomorrow morning. That's what I'm shooting for. Y'all know I kind of do those off the cuff just when I get a... A free hour and I can set up real quick so we'll be doing our background hopefully tomorrow for our sunflower painting Teresa then you need to come join us I'm gonna show you how to do it y'all have a great evening I'm gonna hop off of here and I will see y'all Tuesday at 4 thank you for everything I love y'all to pieces bye